Hey guys, this is Justin Rowe. I'm the founder of Impactable. And right now I'm going to walk you through quickly our outreach offering. It's new and it's reimagined. Well, it's not new because it's been around for three or four years with us, uh, but we've definitely pivoted the strategy, changed with the times, adjusted to LinkedIn's current algorithms and security settings to provide what we believe is the best way forward for LinkedIn outreach. So traditionally, you would take a LinkedIn profile, you would load a list in Sales Navigator, and then you would kind of spray and pray, kind of the spam-ish approach, uh, 50 to 100 connection requests a day and follow-up messages. And that I don't want to dog on that approach too much because at that volume, it actually did work uh, pretty well for a lot of people. But with the new limitations and, and how LinkedIn is today, that doesn't necessarily work, um, and we wouldn't recommend it as the best approach today. So what we do believe is the best approach is to uh, still build your target list in Sales Navigator. It is an amazing tool where you can find exactly who you're looking for. You can target by um, position title, job function, seniority, geographic location, company size, and a lot of other filters. Um, what we have expanded to is now we actually look to, instead of just hammering your ideal you know, client persona, we actually target a few different buckets in order to grow, because there's more than one way to grow your revenue. So instead of just targeting your ideal prospects, we still target them, but we'll also look for um, possible partnership relationships if you would like us to. So companies that are in the same space as you that serve the same clients have complementary services, um, reaching out to them with a, a message, uh, getting on the phone or a Zoom call and seeing if there's a possible partnership there for referral business or cross-selling, uh, that could be a great revenue driver. Um, we can also find and seek out possible PR opportunities, guest hosting on podcasts, uh, speaking at events, being featured in blogs and articles, uh, and, and that could be a great way to gain trust, credibility, exposure, um, and can be a lot easier than, you know, a, a lot easier way into some of these companies than just targeting decision maker. So we actually will find those different routes that are unique to your company. We'll build those search groups inside of Sales Navigator. We'll create those segments. And then we will actually create the uh, messaging strategy to go along with that. So we'll check out your profile, give you recommendations on that. Uh, build the search group and be transparent exactly what list we're working. And then we'll even write the, the messaging sequence. So our, we do actually use some software to do this at scale. So we, we personally build the list, write the messaging and manage the whole process. But we do actually use some software um, because it's, it's much like a high powered personalized version of email outreach. It feels a lot more personal because it's coming from a personal LinkedIn profile, but we have the high tech capability of having you know, kind of rules and flows, whether that's simple for our starter package of identifying if they have an open profile and we can email them for free. And if not going the route of connecting and messaging, detecting if they replied to the introduction message, doing a follow up a week later, all of that we can do because of these advanced logic flows. And this is a very simple one here I'm showing you. Uh, this is a more complex one where we have you know, custom, um, you know, if we're connected, if we found a verified email, if they have an open profile, and then having different variations and different flows accordingly, uh, depending on, you know, the answer to those, um, to those conditions. So we'll actually set up that flow for you, we'll, we'll manage it. And then um, what you'll see on your end, is you'll start seeing connection requests coming in, you'll start seeing messages of people responding, um, and if you have our starter package, that's everything we do for that initial price. Um, so we'll actually do that. And what we recommend now, and I'll get into what these other two options look like as well. What we recommend now is, you know, we do see a lot of traction with uh, connecting with the prospect, having the introduction message, positioning yourself as a possible resource, but we don't want to pester them too much in the inbox. So we don't have a 12, 15, 24 um, step messaging drip. A lot of times, you know, after a couple of attempts, if they are clearly ignoring you or they're clearly not interested, uh, we've we've decided that the best approach to nurture them at that point is through content. Um, so all of our packages, you know, you can you can select the package that works for you as far as outreach and managed service, and then once you get in there on the pricing page, you can add on content. So what we're doing is we're building a very targeted network of people that could um, either buy your service, partner with you, or get you uh, PR exposure. 
And if they don't bite on the initial messaging, they're still part of your network. And most of them still, you know, they're not, they don't have a huge network. So if you post content consistently and not just aimlessly throwing stuff on the wall, but content that actually hits different layers of the funnel that builds awareness around the problem you solve, that builds trust and credibility uh, in that consideration phase. And then content that actually shows, you know, a sense of urgency, like why switch, why now, why you, um, actually nurtures those connections that you're strategically building long-term, that's the best play to stay in front of them in a non-spammy, non-threatening way to, to build trust and credibility with them. And when and if they have a need, you've put yourself in the top of the list of people that they would want to reach out to. So that's kind of the overarching strategy um, and the process that we would manage for you. Uh, we actually, you know, the, the inbox is a messy place. So a lot of times if it's working properly, you'll start seeing people responding and saying, yes, I would like to understand more. Let's book a call. Um, yes, please email me. Um, you know, uh, I see a lot of like yeses and meetings in here. Um, and, and this can be very disorganized. LinkedIn doesn't make the inbox very easy to manage. So with our middle tier, our managed approach, um, we actually give you an account manager to manage the inbox. We bring the data in in a meaningful way, um, bring in the actual replies of what these uh, prospects are saying, um, group them into categories of, you know, these are, these are all your new connections. These are leads that need you to respond to. Uh, these are people we'll follow up with later. Um, we'll organize everything for you, and then we will actually um, give you weekly reporting as well so that you can see the, over, the overall activity, the trend of leads, um, and we can be on the same page about you know what we're achieving uh, together. And the last thing I'm going to show you is also the difference between just going over the difference between these three. So the, the first option, the starter package, covers the list creation, the message creation, the, the hookup to the automation, the management of that, and reporting. Um, at that point, you we will notify you when someone replies, but we don't have someone in your inbox um, kind of qualifying that reply to say if it's good, bad, follow-up lead. That's just on you. For the next tier, the middle tier professional, we put someone in your inbox. They're looking at the replies. They're tagging them appropriately, and they're responding on your behalf where it makes sense. So if we have kind of a templated um, flow that says, hey, here's some you know, information. If that's something you have questions about or would like to talk, we're here. If they respond and say, yes, you know, this is exactly what I need, um, let's talk. We have your Calendly link. We can send some follow-up information with your link, and you can just get those, um, those calls booked on your calendar. The big difference between that and the prospector is uh, we have two variations of this, and we've gone back and forth right now. We've dropped email off of this, but it's still an option. Um, instead, we've substituted hyper-personalized messaging. So basically, we would go an extra step um, since we're limited on how many connection requests we can send and how many messages you have in a month. We could hyper-personalize each message. So we would visit their profile, take a look at their you know, individual profile, and craft a message that's unique to them. So for example, it could say, Hey, John, I love the work you're doing with Red Cross, and I see that you went to such and such a college. You know, it'd be great to connect. That works a little better than, you know, a standard copy and paste connection request or an introduction message. Um, it can work in information listed on their profile to help personalize the message and increase those rates. So those are the three options. Um, also throw this out. If you have you know, the time to run this on your own. You know, you're not a, a large sales team that wants to run this on multiple accounts, which we can. You just want to learn it on your own. We have a $350, um, currently that's the price. I think it's going to be going up a 90 minute training where we would actually just show you the tools we use, the system we use, how to set up, integrate with the CRM and just give you all the tools to run it yourself. Uh, so we do have that option if, if that's what you're interested in. And if that looks good, then you want to purchase, you can just simply click get started. It will take you to the sales page. We have options uh, for discounts on running multiple months with us. And when you hit next steps, uh, like I said, if that's the content option that allows you to add on the 12 posts uh, strategic content funnel um, and just add that onto your order and then you can complete from there. And that is all I have for you today. I appreciate it, guys.